The Spring Stakes Handicap, uh, 10 for an event for two year olds, 0 to 80 handicap, 0 to 80 nursery, I should say. From Ocean Port on the dirt, one is Topaz OB1, two Power Boost, Graham Clatterback, three Club Foley OB1, four is Flying Dagger, Patrick Hogan, and five is Bazin T. A Agus for Stu Gray. Five horses in this 10 full event at Ocean Port. As we wait for the horses to get ready. They're at the start now. They're all loaded. And away they go. Stu Gray's horse, uh, Bazin T. Agus, a little bit slow away, but as quickly Club Folio goes to lead for Obi Wan. For the blue colours and red cap of Power Boost in second, on the rail is Flying Dagger for Patrick Hogan. Out wide, improving after that slow start, is Bazin T. Agus, and uh, Bazin T. Agus has gone to the front for Stu Gray. From Club Foley in second for Obi Wan. On the rail, the yellow colours, but with the black cap, that's Flying Dagger for Patrick Hogan. Out wide is, is Topaz for. Obi Wan in the back of the field, power boost for Graham Clatterback, but only about six lengths off this leader. And a Stu Gray's grey horse, Bazin T. Agus, who leads from Club Foley in second, stable companion Topaz, and that one's outside on the road. He's flying Dugger for Pat Patrick Hogan. Then comes power boost at the back of the field for Graham Clatterback. So six lengths first to last year as Bazin T. Agus leads for Stu Gray from Club Foley in second. Then comes Topaz, Flying Daggers on the rail, followed by Power Boost at the back of the field. Only about five lengths first to last as Bazin T. Agus still takes him along from the, on the far side of the track. Bazin T. Agus, the jockey, sneaks a peek behind him. You'll see that the two Obi-Wan horses are about three lengths adrift of the, of the leader. Club Foley and Topaz, Flying Dagger on the rail for Patrick Hogan, who's going well in the back of the field. Power Boost, the jockey no, in no rush on Power Boost at the back of the field. So Bazin Diagas has been pushed along in the front to try to hold his position but leaving large now Topaz and Club Foley for uh, Obi-Wan on the inside going strongly now is Flying Dagger and Flying Dagger comes to join Bazin Diagas up at the front of the field. Bazin Diagas kicks from the front draws to about a length clear from Flying Dagger in second. Club Foley behind and then Topaz and Power Boost at the back of the field. Bazin Diagas has caught them a bit flat foot as he straight turns for home. Leads by two lengths from Flying Dagger and Club Foley out wide is Topaz. Power Boost is running on from the back of the field. Between horses, Flying Dagger now comes to the front in the yellow colours and the black cap. On his outside is Club Foley, then comes Topaz running on his power boost. Flying Dagger and Club Foley left to find it out. Flying Dagger on the inside is getting the, getting the upper hand and Flying Dagger starts to serve close home and draws away. Flying Dagger's going to win comfortably from probably Club Foley in second, close for third. Um, it might be Topaz who holds on to beat power boost back in third into fourth and then uh, the last was Bazin Diagas, the last long time leader. So Patrick Hogan wins another one with Flying Dagger, wins by about three lengths. A steward inquiries, but I th really can't see that being thrown away. One by three lengths, so we'll have to see what happens, but it's doubtful whether anything will change. And no, no, hasn't. Power Flying Dagger wins from Patrick for Patrick Hogan. Club Foley was second for Obi-Wan. Power Boost did manage to pep Topaz for fourth, for third, I mean. Power Boost wins third for Graham Clutterbuck, and Obi-Wan's Topaz was back in fourth.